So, what's going on? What's going on? By the way, this video is being recorded using the Canon HF G20. Definitely the best camcorder out there. With that being said, let's talk about the 3D scanner. This is the Next Engine 3D scanner. And of course, it's made by Next Engine. Makes sense. Nevertheless, these models that you see in front of you are one, of course, is the Smurf. I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with Smurf. You know, that TV show, cartoon type of show. They used to come on every Saturday. Well, those who don't know, it was a good show. But nevertheless, moving forward, this model that I have here, I basically took it, scanned it in using the Next Engine 3D scanner. Of course, you could use any scanner. I'm just saying that this scanner done an excellent job and the quality is really good. As you can see from the printed model I have right there, I print that out. First, I use a scanner, 3D Next Engine scanner, and I use the MakerBot replicator to actually print this out. As you can see, excellent, awesome, wonderful, magnificent job done. By the way, I have the replicator one, not two, but you know, they both good qualities, nevertheless. So, after making that, you can see the details are all there. Just look at it. Beautiful, wonderful, magnificent. You know, look, even the ear looks, got that definition in there. It's, I mean, it's unbelievable, really, unbelievable. You know, but let's talk about scanners. Now, you could have made, I should say, you could have bought, rather, or made, your own 3D scanner. However, would the quality come out as great? Right? Will you be able to scan this item such as the Smurf with precision? And the answer to that is probably no. Because everybody think, okay, I could just sit there and I could make a turntable, get a laser, scan an image, and be done. But look at this car. Look at the complexity of this car. Imagine trying to scan this in using the MakerBot digitizer. It's really not capable of doing it. Why? Because the digitizer can only scan one way. See, uh, this is like a 360 one direction. But keep in mind, you got to scan the front of the car too, which means, guess what? You got to reposition it. You have to be able to reposition models or else you will not be able to acquire the detail. And that's where MakerBot, Replicator, and other scanners like it fails. So, what do you do? What makes the difference? Well, you can spend more money. You can buy my scanner. I didn't make it. Next Engine made it. And this one costs $3,000. Or you can buy the hand scanner and spend over $25,000. But I'm going to be honest with you. I've seen them work. And believe me, even with scanners like that, to get details such as this Smurf in there, it will leave holes in that as well. We we use the term holes as meaning that's data that wasn't collected from the scanner, by the way, just in case you was wondering. Not holes as in holes. You, you get the point. But nevertheless, so the thing about scanners such as Next Engine Scan and other scanners similar to this is that you're able to reposition the object, scan and acquire all the details and necessary data to make the object complete, right? Well, with devices that are made, and I've seen some Kickstarter projects that sell them for $500 and, you know, craziness. And by the way, the digitizer for Makeup Buy is like 1400 I mean, it's okay and all, but keep in mind the level of details which you're trying to capture. And uh, items such as things that have a lot of detail, like clothing and stuff like that, you won't be able to acquire that. The wrinkles in the clothing or something like that, you won't be able to acquire that. Another thing is, with the next engine, as you can see, you can move it. I can move it from it, backwards. It's not fixed to the scanner, such as other scanners are, right? And that gives it an advantage, which means, guess what? The item do not have to be all close up to the scanner. I could have infinite amount of space between the scanner and the item in which I'm scanning, which is a great, great advantage compared to something like MakerBot where you are limited to the size 
of the diameter of the object you're trying to scan. And the same thing for other scanners that have just a rotating platform, for that matter. By the way, this one, you could scan as far as maybe 13 inches and even farther with other software updates uh, that cost a little bit extra. But nevertheless, it's great product. Um, um, the, the item it took me to scan took about, I'll say about an hour. Yeah, I'd say about an hour to do, which ain't too bad. You know, I'm talking about total package was like an hour and maybe 10 minutes. It took about 15 minutes only for the scan and not an hour to scan. I just let you know that other amount of time was the actual print time for the um, replication of the Smurf, as you can see. I replicated that Smurf in about 45 minutes. It took 45 minutes to actually print that out with the MakerBot replicator. But the actual scanning took only like 15 minutes. And I'm talking about including post-processing. Because, you know, sometimes I have to use a program called uh, Mesh make Mixer. And that helped remove some of the um, imperfections, I should say, in the final print uh, scan, I should say. Works great. But the bottom line is this, people. If you want to scan something like this, like the Smurf or any other item for that matter, I would suggest that you spend the money wisely. Would I spend $14? I mean, excuse me, $1,400 on a scanner, such as the MakerBot? Probably not. Why? Because that's a waste of money. I want to have the flexibility. I would rather save my money and get a proper scanner so I could do a good job as this print you see here with the Smurf. Look at the details at it. Very good. So, that being said, I just want you to know that a lot of people, I heard some people online talking about the next engine. It took me an hour to do these guys are ridiculous. That's because they don't know how to use the tool. This is a tool like any other tool. It takes time to learn. But once you do, it's wonderful.